And crews have been battling tough weather conditions since the fires sparked last week, including dry heat and high winds. And we do want to take a live look here this morning to Southern California, where our Dave Malkoff is standing by with the crews fighting the Saddle Ridge Fire. And Dave, you're speaking directly with the L.A. Fire Department this morning, but that's what we understand. Yeah, Captain Eric Scott from LAFD is here with us on site here at the command post. Now, we just had the morning briefing. We know it's 41% contained. That means that 41% of this fire has a, a line drawn around it, so it can't go beyond that line, but you still have fire burning today. That's correct, and so that's going to be some of the ongoing challenges. We're not out of the woods yet. So what is the weather going to do for you today? Are, are you going to have less humidity or less wind today? Well, weather plays a significant role, and our, our major concern has always been and continues to be the wind. When it's a topography-driven fire, meaning that the fire just naturally burns up a hill through a canyon, it's a lot slower natural burn. The heat goes in front of that, and, and it, it will naturally go up to a line that we could cut it off. But when you get a wind-driven fire, that significantly changes it. It turns it into a freight train. And so that's what we're really paying close attention to. Obviously, when you compile increased temperatures, low re relative humidity, and wind, and when that wind specifically aligns up with canyons, it moves extremely fast. So those are the areas of concern. Another wind-driven fire that we were out on last year was the Woolsey fire that burned from the mountains all the way to the ocean. And that, you lost way more homes in that one. Correct. Yeah. Um, th that fire burned just over 1,600 homes were destroyed. So significant damage throughout multiple communities. Compared to here, we have 21 that have been destroyed. So firefighters have done an outstanding job. It's not to be debated. Um, and there were significant challenges because we did have another significant Santa Ana wind effect. Fortunately, as you see today and yesterday, that is diminished. That really helps us get a quicker upper hand to get the perimeter around the fire and to use our air resources to drop water on the hot spots ahead. 18 helicopters available today, but it's not just help from the air, it's help from the people at home, and they can do their part to help stop this fire from burning their home down. Yeah, that's an excellent point. They can join us. If they provide the defense, we will provide the offense. The way that's done is having proper brush clearance. So if you've chosen to live in the beautiful areas of California that are near brush and the wildlife, you always need to be ready and you need to have that defensible space. Here's the basics. Bring the weeds and grass down to three inches. Bring the bottom third of a bush. Trim that away. Trim the bottom six feet of a tree. Have five foot clearance around your home so it doesn't catch fire and double that for a chimney. And those are some of the basics. When firefighters come on scene, they see that you've done that to your home. Everything looks like a lollipop, meaning those ground fuels have been cleared away. That slows the forward progression of that fire. We will place firefighters between that wall of flame that comes up and between that home, and we will save that property. So that's how they could join our team. Captain Eric Scott, thank you so much for joining us. He's saying that the folks at home can actually help fight this fire. That's not just here in California, but that's all over the United States where millions of people have moved into the fire zone in the last few decades. That's the wildland urban interface where people move into these fire zones. That is an increased danger, and that's something that firefighters are dealing with. But if you do have brush around your home, make sure that that is out of the way. Make sure that you have uh, the furniture that's outside your house or the tiki huts that's outside your house out of the way, and that will help the firefighters stop this forward progression of this fire Today, they will be out on the front lines once again. They have just left this area, Liana, and they are trying to fight this fire. They still have a containment line that they're trying to build today, and that is in heavy terrain. And luckily, the temperatures are down today, and that will help them. Yeah, that was the